all right once you get that plug back in you have the other wires there nice and you know wrapped no water damage uh, you want to snug that in there at least tape it up there it's whatever as long as it's you know protected just put the panels back in Get the other panels back in. Alright. Once that done, what you want to do is before you put everything together, just because you have that connected doesn't mean anything. Uh, what you want to do is you want to swing around the front. What you want to do is, right here, that's my baby right there. Polaris slingshot. Alright, what you want to do is, you want to come around. Well, I already had this started, but since I haven't seen nobody do any videos on this HID kit, you know, to me it was a pain in the ass, especially for a beginner. I'm not gonna pay a hundred bucks for a guy to put a light that only took me what maybe half hour. He wants to charge me by hour. I'd be lucky if he charged me for one hour. Usually they charge about one or two. So they're making right there hundred, hundred fifty dollars right off you just to put a half hour job in. So um, what you do? Well, on this Grom, there's two screws there. You want to pop this one out. And the one in the bottom, these nuts right there, and the other side, oh, the other side, you're going to do the same thing. Once you take that off, it becomes a piece of cake. What you want to do is that you want to remove the old light, which is with this little clamp here, pop it off. The old light will come off. All right, you put the new HIDs in. Um, so you can see here in the front. Connect your balances, simple process. Red to red, blue to blue. Your original piece, this is the one that's connected to your original light. You pop that off. Once you pop that off, you pop this in. Uh, what I did forget to do is put the rubber cap back on, which is very important, which I'm gonna do right now. What I'm gonna have to do is run all these wires again to get that in. All right, once you get all those in, you got that rubber gasket over it with a rubber cover. Get everything on there, you plug everything in. This right here, I highly recommend this here, you guys. Uh, with some electric tape, just cover it up. I'm gonna do that now. Uh, everything else connected is real simple. It's a plug and play system. Again, just because it says plug and play doesn't mean connect it and go along with your day and it'll work like no this shit is a lot more complicated than what i thought whatever um there's no videos on it i was like fuck it i'll just do something there for those who want to do uh hids on their hanagram um once you guys do everything connect everything i highly recommend just test it before everything's assembled all right we're gonna try it out right now Oh, and there it is. On the Grom HIDs. Uh, just gonna make sure everything's good. Nothing burning, nothing melting. You know, any surprises while riding. You know, you want fucking seats light up <laughs> while you're riding. Everything seems good. And... And the fucker turns on, so that means it's good, everything's good. So we could turn off this bad boy, put everything together, and 
That's it. You just got to find a nice spot for this where it won't overheat. Um, I'm going to see if I play with this now. But, yep. If any questions, you know, feel free to write me anything. And this, this HID kit was purchased on eBay. Fuckers were no good. Uh, well... Product was good. Uh, the help from them was no good. Basically, they give you the shit, say it's plug and play, but when you get it, it's not a real plug and play. There's more to it than just plug the shit and go, you know. Um, I learned the hard way, but whatever. That's life. All right. Hope you guys liked the video.